Greetings. In this screen recording, I'm going to talk about package management on Apple computer fleets. And the tool I'm going to talk about using here is called Auto Packager. So that is like Auto Packager with an extra R in it. It's made by this company called The Lindy Group. This is their website. There's a link to this in the description below. That's what the software looks like. And it can be used to automate package management on macOS fleets using a lot of MDMs. I use Jamf as my MDM, and I'm going to demonstrate how I use this software to get packages from GitHub in a much more efficient manner, manner than it would be for me to individually download packages every time I have to do patch reporting. So we've navigated to the GitHub repo for this software where we can download it and it says we have to download auto packager before we install auto or auto pkg before we install auto pkg r so for the folks who don't read we will demonstrate what happens when you skip that step and what you can do to reconcile it and if you follow directions, you do read this documentation, you uh, won't have this problem. So we've downloaded auto PKGR version 1.6, and we will open that and install it. We're gonna use the power of editing to go through that install process very quickly. So we've dragged and dropped it to the applications folder, mm -hmm. authenticated, set up our notification options and we open and we have this blank screen and that is because we have not installed mm -hmm. auto pkg so let's do that if you do that in the first step you won't run into this problem so here we go back on github we will click on our link for auto packager because we first have to install this on max because they don't have python anymore so auto packager 2.7 is going to use Python. We can see some older versions here, but we're going to go ahead and download the PKG for 2.7. If you're watching this sometime in the future, which you will be, I would just recommend downloading the latest versions of these two products. All right, so we're installing this software and we are going to star these repos on our GitHub so that if we forget what they're called uh, we can just go back to our star system to remember a little bit of housekeeping here I'm currently running a Mac OS uh, Ventura operating system version 13.0.1 at the time of this install which is December 1st 2022 so if you're running a different operating system or different versions of the software, it may work differently. Okay, so now we need to open up Auto Packager, but it's not really working, so we gotta really make sure it's quit because we have, um, it, because it's still not working the way it should, and we, oh, here we go. We can quit it from this menu. So let's quit it from here and relaunch it and see if we can get it to work now that we have auto PKG installed. We can launch the terminal version and that's not looking super clean. Uh, but we're, you know, it's, it's, it's a reasonable troubleshooting step. So we'll command C there, go back and Launch again, and boom, it looks like it should. Okay, so now this is how it should be. We have Git installed, we have Auto Package are installed. Both versions are current, that's what those green dots look like. Now we're gonna add a recipe repo. Uh, there's a star system, more stars means it's better. People in the open source community have ranked these according to how good they are. So I'm gonna add the first repo
And in this next part, we're going to go through the workflow of using this software. So say you're inheriting a computer that already has this software and this part of your workflow, you just need a refresher on how it works. That's what we're doing here. So now I'm just scrolling through the recipes, looking for applications I need to update packages for. So that is one of them, Adobe Acrobat DC. And then web browsers is typically what I do every month. So Firefox is one of those. So we got our Firefox. Uh, and I like the PKG files because they integrate well with the JAMP software server as an MDM solution. Uh, should have clicked Google Chrome there, but I skipped it. And we'll go back and get it a, a, another time. And I'm, I'm not going to fast forward through this because it just gives a good idea of all the packages that are available from this Git recipe from the highest rated source. And I'll typically add top three in this tutorial. We might just do the top two though. So we're down to the S's, T's. VLC, that's a good one. All right, good enough for now. We'll go ahead and run these recipes. Now that they're running, that means they're downloading. These are downloading to my computer. And once they're downloaded, we can upload them to our Jamf software server where we can create policies to distribute them to our Mac fleet after testing them on test devices, of course, before we deploy fleet wide. I'm only gonna show you the steps of downloading and uploading in this tutorial, but check out your other resources online to learn more about the other components of distributing from your Jam software server so that you can have a well-rounded package management workflow. This is just one slash maybe three pieces of that puzzle. All right. Back on our documentation page, which we're making sure to read, making sure we read, we can see that the auto PKGR's recipe list is in the library application file path. So we will go to that folder. We will navigate to it. And we're not seeing it by default. So we'll just go ahead and delete the word application navigate to the library and then look for it there. See if we can find this. Okay. We're not seeing application application, but we are seeing auto packagers. So let's see what we got in here. We can see our cache and our recipe repo. I know from experience that there's a repo. Those are all the things that could potentially get from our first repo because um, it's the only one we've selected. I'm going to put a green conditional formatting on this uh, cache, and then I'm going to put it in this uh, favorites area in my uh, finder window so I can quickly navigate to it in the future. And now we can see our applications downloading. So there's VLC version 3.0.18 and Firefox is on its way behind it, version 107.0.1. And so instead of having to navigate to these websites individually and download their packages and get them all ready to go, I can just open up auto PKGR, run my recipes, and have them all downloaded to my cache. Okay, we've got a couple downloaded. Now we'll go into Jamf Pro, go to Commuter Management. I'm gonna go fast here because this, uh, is just what I'm going to do. Choose file, cache, Firefox. We'll do VLC first. Open. We have it in a category and now we will save it. We'll do another example and we'll do that at slower speed. So I'm clicking save which is control S as well. We can see our upload is happening and I like to keep my package is pretty clean. So I'll typically go and try and delete like two old packages that aren't ever used before uploading new packages. That way we don't just have an, 
and continually building supply of ugly packages in the uh, repository on the software server. Okay, let's do another one new. All right, we're gonna do another one. This time, we're gonna do it at 50% of the speed. I did it when I recorded it in real time. Going back to our cache. In this case, we're getting Firefox version 107.0.1. Opening that up. The display name defaults as the file name, so that's quickly or quick and easy. And then we choose our browser catalog uh, category, click save, and let it start uploading. Speaking of browsers, we got to go back and find Chrome. And so I'm going to demonstrate how to do that with a different workflow. So you can search for recipes on GitHub, and this isn't actually the correct place to do that, right? Because Chrome isn't a recipe name. What you're going to want to do is filter your recipes. So we're going to go and do that next. And that doesn't mean add repo manually because Chrome is not a repo. But we'll add home by six because home by six has 126 stars. And we will close that. We will filter to Chrome. Third option. Click on a PKG. Delete that out, and we will run recipes now. So Chrome will download to the cache, where we can then upload it to the JSS and be done with this portion of our package management workflow. If you found this video tutorial useful, please subscribe to my channel, even if it's the only video tutorial you ever watch. It is the best way to support it. Additionally, if you want to contribute to the PayPal tip jar, that would help me cover the cost of production of this channel. I still consistently lose money on that cost, so it's really a labor, labor of love at this point. In any case, thanks for watching. That's all I got for you today. We'll see you around.